Yesterday evening, God was speaking to me very clearly. Um, and uh, I would say it's, it's uh, meant to be a wake up call. Because what, what happened was this. Um, I was sitting here where I sit now and I fell asleep and then I heard deep in my spirit that like very deep very clearly I heard the words so the one sentence God saying the church will be glorious and then I woke up I was totally awake um, um, so that was all for that moment but when I went to bed later um, I woke up, no, I went to bed, I slept in and um, the Holy Spirit woke me up at 1.55 in the morning and uh, it was very um, not soft, he did not wake me up soft, but I was bomb awake like that and that's it, then I started to pray. Um, he didn't say anything, but if you uh, know my channel, if you have seen other videos, you know that happened before. The Holy Spirit woke me up at uh, 2.44 at one, uh, one night and was asking me what time it is. This time he was not, not um, saying anything, but I understood that I woke up at 1.55, it's not by accident. Um, so later I was checking um, Google what what is if there's something about the glorious church and actually in um, in Ephesians chapter 5 from uh, uh, chapter 5 verse 27 is written this that he this is Jesus might present her that is his bride or the church to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. Um, so this is what he was telling me yesterday when I fell asleep here on the seat. Um, this is that verse. The church will be glorious, but the 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 glory of the church is no spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that she should be holy and without any blemish um, and then I was thinking about 55 or 155 and um, this is written in chapter 5 and then I was going back to to the to uh, Ephesians 5 verse 5 and here's written the opposite for this you know that no fornicator unclean person nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God okay um, this is this is absolutely opposite this is like God's kingdom clashing with the kingdom of this world. You either repent and belong to the kingdom of God or you don't repent and you do not belong to the kingdom of God. More opposite is not possible like in those two passages which end the same chapter which is uh, yeah, it's, uh, very, very much in connection there. Um, so as I said, God woke me up before and he was asking me, what time is it? And then I was checking, it was 2.44. And I was sleeping in again and then he woke me up um, with the Bible verse, for strong is the Lord God who judges her, which was from uh, Revelations 18.8. And I was checking the Bible verse 2.44, which came up first was, when I was checking on Google, was Daniel 2.44. And uh, again, you have the kingdom of God, which shall be established in Daniel 2.44. It shall crash all the kingdom of this world. And um, in, in Revelations 18.8, the kingdom of this world, the whore of Babylon, will be judged. Again, you have both kingdoms clashing here. 
and um, both times yesterday evening and this morning the Holy Spirit was waking me up so this is a wake-up call when the Holy Spirit has convicted you or is convicting you right now and you feel this disgust or uh, in the Bible is written that that uh, their hearts were cut um, when you feel that there's something happening do not harden your heart but uh, bring that before Jesus repent from that sin he has done the same with me I had to, to repent I went to Jesus and I actually understood this was not enough um, he wanted me to talk to a special person which I did and um, and uh, it was not easy but it was necessary and uh, I'm free I feel guilt free um, and this is what it's about to be free from sin and uh, from guilt and from from shame and this kind of stuff so if you hear the voice of God if he's convicting you do not harden your heart he wants to have you in his kingdom this is his heart. You shall spend eternity with him. Yes. In the name of Jesus.